Natasha. Um, for those of you who haven't um, met me yet, um, I'm a software developer at Red Hat, and I'm also the lead organizer for Node Girls Brisbane. We're having a workshop on the 10th of March, which is this Saturday, and um, still looking for uh, mentors. We have about 90 people signed up to the workshop with about, last I checked, 10 people on the wait list. So um, keeping in mind that 60% of them will turn up. And <laughs> um, But yeah, basically, wanted to give a little talk about how to be a good mentor, because that's relevant. And um, yeah, like thought it would be a good place to uh, give this talk because you have guys that have stuck around after pizza, so like you guys must be really interested in like JavaScript, right? So yeah. Um, all right. So yeah, this was our last No Girls event. It was at Just As Real People. It was really fun. Um, that one was actually an intro to Node and Express workshop and. Um, it's pretty cool um, how, how collaborative the day was and this next one is going to be an intro to JavaScript one. The difference is that it's going to be complete beginners now. So um, it's, it's going to be a different experience, um, just getting absolute um, newbies to um, try coding for the first time. Um, I'm not going to make anything like that, or uh, well, fucking birds or whatever. <laughs> um, it's, it's not going to be that bad. And so honestly, like anyone with like even the, the you know beginner skills can come along and you can get a lot out of it. Um, all right, so jumping straight into good qualities uh, that a mentor has. Um, so yeah, humility. I think, first of all, just accept that you don't need to know everything. I think uh, when you first get into mentoring, you can get into this mindset that I need to know everything, so I can't mentor yet. But you know, when I first mentored, I had just started um, sort of learning how to code, and I went to code a dojo, and it was so much fun. And I realized how much these kids can um, teach me. So um, yeah, just one thing that also helps is not to think of yourself as a teacher, but rather as a study buddy. So yeah, you learn things together. Um, compassion. So listen to what um, they have to say, even though you know you've made the same mistakes before. So it's like you know a parent telling a child, oh, it's wrong, don't do that. But you know, let them make their own mistakes and be compassionate about that. And yeah, just uh, keep in mind that there are never any silly questions. Um, everyone was started somewhere once, so yeah, this is something that I think of quite a lot um, when I think about teaching someone something that may seem obvious to me or everyone else around me. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen this, but I think it's pretty cool. I'll share the slides later on if you want to have a look. Yeah. Try and be um, as patient as you can. These are complete um, newbies, and um, just try and remember when you first started, what you were going through. Um, being more tolerant, and the other thing with patience is sometimes a uh, thing that I used to do quite often is sometimes it would be easier for me to just take over. So just go, oh, this is how you write this, and then I, I'll just, you know, it's just so much easier to just give them the answer, but it's not nearly as rewarding to see them come to their own solution. So yeah, try and challenge their thinking without giving giving it all away, and that will, takes a bit of patience. Um, yeah, like providing guidance is probably the most obvious one. Sharing your experiences, how you've learned things in the past, and you know, how they can do the same. And lastly, just being open-minded about things, you can learn a lot from both the experience as well as these people who don't know as much as you do. They can teach you a thing or two about like um, JavaScript or even like other life lessons and just being open-minded about that. You don't need to know it all, so just come along and you know, just experience it and maybe you leave with something else you know, that you didn't expect to. Oh, there'll be free food, so we'll be a bit free food. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, 
Node Build is an <coughs> organization that runs free JavaScript and Node.js workshops for um, anyone who identifies as a woman, but anyone can mentor. Um, in fact, uh, you can come and be a part of the workshop if you bring a woman. So um, that's a way you can get around it. If you would like to mentor, um, come and get in touch with me. Or um, if you'd rather get in touch with me through any of these, um, you could do that too. But also happy to take um, questions right now if you wanted to. Hi. How many mentors are you looking for? Um, we normally go for about um, maybe half the number of attendees. And I think there will be around uh, 60, considering 90 people is the cap. Um, so, buddy mentors, and right now we have um, 20 ish. Right. Yeah. Um, what sort of level do you need to be able to be a mentor? Um, pretty much, I will share the workshop with you, and you go through the workshop by yourself, and if, you, if, you, if you're happy doing that, you'll be fine. And it's basically just like, what's a loop? What's a variable? So, yeah, you, yeah if you're here, you'll be fine. <laughs> 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 so, 